for implementing a PSO MVP in Arduino. So I was, I was referred this paper, the development of a low cost PV system using an improved INC algorithm and the PV panel protest model. The uh, all data for implementing PSO MVPT in Arduino. So I referred this paper. So the paper is uh, explained very clearly about all details for implementation of INC algorithm and uh, how to create the PV panel in Proteas. So, and also I take the data from here. So already author shared the development model detail here. So I, I, I have referred this detail for implementing PSO and BPT. And I thank you, the, uh, thank you this author for a great work on this improved INC algorithm for PV panel in Proteas. Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about how to implement PSO MPPT in Arduino. And also in this video we have to discuss about uh, the testing of Arduino code in the Proteus software. So thanks for watching our videos. So kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So I'm going to open that uh, code written for PSO MPPT in Arduino. So this is a code used for implementing that PSO MPPT in an Arduino. So yeah, these are the details that mean you have to initialize the variables for measuring the voltage of voltage and current of uh, PV panel. So, and also you have to uh, initialize the current instant power and previous instant power, and then you have to fix the PWM duty cycle. So, normally in Arduino, the duty cycle is in between 0 to 255, and then here you have to fix the, the best PWM duty cycle. Otherwise, you called a global best duty cycle for that converter. Okay, because we are going to use uh, converter in between PV panel and the load. Okay, so you have to decide the best uh, duty cycle in order to operate that uh, converter and to extract the maximum power from the PV panel. So, these are the different uh, duty cycle uh, fixed for the uh, different irradiation of the PSO MBPT. So here the pin number 6 used to for uh, generating the period impulse from that Arduino and here we are going to read the sensor value 1 and 2 that mean uh, the voltage sensor is connected in the analog channel A0 and the current sensor is connected in the analog channel A1. And then next you have to convert it into actual quantity. That means we have, that mean we can uh, uh, receive only the voltage in the range of 0 to 5 and then current in the range of 0 to 5 volt. So that should be converted into actual quantity of the PV panel. Because here we are using uh, 20 volt uh, PV panel. So here we convert that voltage into actual format, and then you, here we calculate that uh, power of the PV panel. So and this code used to for displaying that uh, the different parameter like PV voltage, PWM pulse, uh, PWM uh, duty cycle and then voltage of the PV panel, current of the PV panel. So here we are going to consider four iteration. After four iteration, the best uh, duty cycle will be used for uh, extract the maximum power from the PV panel. So here we have the first iteration. The first iteration, I'm going to take uh, 10 uh, particles, okay. So here the total number of particles equal to 10 and then I am going to generate the duty cycle randomly and then 
it going to be stored in the the first iteration particles okay so the pdm 1 2 3 and 4 known as the particles of the first iterations and then each value going to be sent to the digit uh, converter via pin number 6 after sending the detail you have to once again measure the the sensor data from channel n at a1 and again you have to convert it into actual quantity and then you have to calculate the power so next you have to compare that the current instant power with the previous instant if current instant power is greater than previous instant power then the current duty cycle is going to be considered as a global best duty cycle or a pedulum best duty cycle and then just you have to exchange the, the current instant power with the previous instant power so next you have to apply the iteration so this is the first initial uh, uh, that means initial iteration okay so next you go for first iteration and first iteration we have to um, apply that pso code here right so this is a pso equation implemented in the adena code for each particle in the first iteration so you have to apply for all that means the pso equation for all particles and then you have to update the pdlm duty cycle so and then the same the updated duty cycle is going to be processed to the converter via the pin number six uh, in here also you have to measure the sensor value from channel a not a1 and then it's going to be converted into actual value of voltage and current next you have to calculate the power and then just you have to compare the current instant power with the previous instant power the current instant power having maximum then you have to replace the value right that means you have to fix the global best and then the previous instant power which is equal to current instant power so after that the second iteration is is executed so here also you have to update the pdlm duty cycle with the pso equation so again this the same process will be repeated for a four number of iteration after fourth iteration okay that after completion of fourth iteration so we consider that uh, we obtained the maximum power from the PA panel so that going to be the repeatedly used to for uh, sending the duty cycle to the converter so after fourth iteration the maximum uh, that means the duty cycle best duty cycle calculated for the pso optimization or pso algorithm so going to be is given to the dc dc converter now to extract the maximum power from the p panel and one more thing in between any changes will be occur in the power right so we need to start the iteration from the initial right so that's why here we use that uh, the calculation of uh, the, the difference between the current instant power and previous instant power okay if the value is greater than 0.1 so there will be changes in the radiation or temperature okay so then we have to start the process from the initial iteration okay so for this condition we use this condition okay so this code is created for pso mbpt in arduino so here next you go to compile this one so after compiling i can go to file and uh, you can see that preference text yeah so here you can see that the x code will be uh, generated in the path d drive with the folder of arduino x right so go to that folder d drive and then click arduino x right so here the x file will be generated for for that pso mbpt created in arduino id so this is going to be used in the protea software for implementing that concept 
test the PV panel, right? So next I'm going to and then explain the concept of uh, the PSO IPPT implementation for the software. So here you can see that so this is a PV panel, 20 watts PV panel. And then this is load is connected via boost converter this one so here we are measuring that uh, the voltage across this resistor so this is used for calculating calculating the current of current from that pv panel and then in this node we are calc and then measuring the voltage of the pv panel and this one is so this is known as voltage sensor model the actual voltage is converted into in the range of 0 to 5 volt so this is a current sensor mo model okay so based upon voltage between these two point it will be converted into 5 volt 0 to 5 volt okay so these two detail will be given to this uh, channel a naught and a1 this one okay this one is given to the channel number a naught a1 and then here you can see that the pin number 6 used to for generating the video impulse so because already we implemented code for PSMPP in Arduino IDE okay so this will be given to here right so we need to fetch the hex code for the PSMPP just go to click this one just you double click and then program file so you need to choose the program file here just to go to this folder and then select the hex code right the hex code already available in the D drive, Arduino hex, right? Just you have to open that folder and then click this pso.inmo.hex, right? And then OK. So now, whatever code we return for PSO and BBT, and after, after compiling, right, we get the hex code. So now that hex code is loaded into the Arduino, OK? So this is going to be work according with our a PSMB algorithm created in the Arduino ID. Okay. First, I'm going to fix the irradiation. So here the panel uh, will be operated. The voltage in the PV panel voltage will be in between operated irradiation will be operated in between 1.2 to 0, right? So now I'm going to fix if 1.2 voltage you are giving here means so it operated at thousand watts per meter square. Okay. So I'm going to fix the irradiation equal to 1.2 and I'm going to simulate this model. So now you can see that the you know, PV power is around 20 watts because the panel is 20 watts panel. So we are getting maximum power and then the duty cycle is around 120 or 129. That means the PWM uh, the video limit is a duty cycle is going to be very in between 0 to 2, 255 in the Arduino ID. Okay, so it will operate around 128. So that means yeah, 128 divided by 255. So just go to calculate that one. So that means so 128 divided by 255. So it operate at a duty cycle of 0 0.5. Okay. And then this voltage across the panel and current. So current from the PV panel. So now next I'm going to stop this simulation and then I'm going to simulate the graph here. So now this graph is simulated. Whatever data is executed in the Proteus, right? So we can see the warm-up graph here, right? So here we are, we are going to see the graph of power, right? Now we can see that power of the PV panels is maintained around 20 watts. Okay. So next I'm going to change the irradiation to that mean one, and then I'm going to simulate the model. So now we can see that we are getting the, the maximum power of around 13 watts. The duty cycle is now around 148. Okay. And then voltage is around 13 point 13 volt and current is around 0 0.9. Okay. So next time I'm going to submit the graph.
so you can wait for some time because it's collecting the data from the Protea software yeah so this is a maximum power is obtained from the P panel in the graph okay so here you can change the uh, voltage level here I'm going to change the voltage that means irradiation to 0.6 okay I, I'm going to simulate this model so now we can see that the maximum power obtained is around some point seven watts right the duty cycle around one one that means 111 and then voltage is around 13.5 and current is 0 0.5 amps okay so, so next time you want to simulate this graph Now we can see that graph here, right? So this is a maximum power obtained from the PV panel from the uh, because of the PS and BPT. So this is working of PS and BPT and then creation of PS and BPT code in the Arduino ID and testing of that code in the Fortier software. So thanks for watching our videos. So kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much.